Hi, in this video, we're going to be looking at a quadratics question on a practice SAT from the College Board. All right, so here we have um, this function here, and I am going to take it, and in order to come closer to a solution, I'm going to distribute this piece out and see if that helps. So here we have 57 x squared, and that was just from what we had before, and then multiplying that first term here, so this by this, we get 57, sorry, plus 57 b times x. And now multiplying that out, we get plus ax. And then our last term, just rewriting, is plus ab. And that's all equal to 0. All right, so once we have that expanded, now we can see we are, there's some factoring by grouping that can happen. And the, way, the, the reason I know that I can go in this direction is because I'm trying to come closer to a solution. So I'm trying to get this in factored form. Right now it's just in a random weird form. All right, so if I group this in this way and that way, we can factor the first part. It has a common factor of 57x. And so when I divide that by 57x, I get x. And when I divide that, I get plus B. And then for the second part, the common factor is A. When I divide that by A, I get X. And here I get plus B. And so this is good news. The good news is that we have the same thing in parentheses here as here. So that means that this here is being multiplied by X plus B. And so is this. So I can take those and I can put them together in one set of parentheses to get 57x plus a, and in my other parentheses, I get x plus b, and that's all equal to zero. So now you may recall that if I have two things being multiplied, so here I have this being multiplied by this, and the answer is zero. That means at least one of those terms has to be zero. So either 57 x plus a equals zero, or x plus b is equal to zero. And we'd solve this the same way that we solve any quadratic equation at that point, or that becomes a linear equation. Any quadratic, that becomes a linear equation. So now we can go ahead and say that 57, x is equal to negative a, and that x is equal to negative a over 57. And that's one of our solutions. The other solution, subtract b from both sides, and we get that x is equal to negative b. All right, so going back to the original question, it says that the product of the solutions is kab. So this is the key thing here. The product of the solutions is kab. Well, this is one solution, and this is the other solution. So the product of the two solutions is going to be negative a over 57 times negative b which is going to be negative, or sorry, positive, because they're both negative, so a, b, over 57. Now that is the same as saying one over 57 times a, b, which now we have or k, because it's being multiplied by a, b. So that means our k value is one over 57, and we can pick a, and we are done.